hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is coconut fried rice i've shared with you how to prepare a delicious fried rice for more than 20 pesos and what to add and what not to add so your rice will not go spoil easily and also coconut rice but today i've been mixing the two together to give you another delicious rice recipe that i know you are going to like it i have all here my veggies and also the rice i use is the one i use for fried rice which is basmati rice the long basmati rice to use it for your fried rice you will not go wrong and inside my pot as the rice was boiling i have here coconut oil and added some onion inside it and fry this for just a minute just for the onion to release the fragrance and I also added crayfish just add a little crayfish that only you will know that you added that crayfish inside your food and add it inside the oil and fry it for like two minutes before adding other things inside it you will not perceive the aroma of crayfish in your in your food and don't add too much like i said then this is a curry powder and a turmeric with seasoning cube and the next thing is pepper and that is just all what you need to add to prepare the base and here is my coconut milk if you have fresh coconut, I bought fresh coconut, but it was all spoiled. So I had the canned coconut. If you have the fresh one, it's always the best. I added the coconut milk and added the chicken stock and cover my pot. Bring it to simmer, then go in with the parboy rice inside the water. Just don't add too much water and don't allow your rice to overcook just add it and cover this to cook for some minutes or until it is soft The next thing is to fry your veggies as the rice is cooking and I have here some coconut oil added it inside my frying pan and go in with onion and garlic inside the oil and my fried rice the one of the tip I give is to fry your onion especially in the summer period so your rice will not go spoil easily add your onion and fry it for some minutes and here i have my uh, shrimps and chicken breast chicken breast have been parboiled and i added them inside the oil and fry after that i seasoned the shrimps and the chicken with some curry powder turmeric powder nutmeg and rosemary with some seasoning cube and salt to taste just feel free to add any seasoning of your choice to your fried rice but these are my main spice whenever i am preparing fried rice so after that, I went in with some carrots, some sweet corn, and mixed bell pepper. I used green, yellow, and red bell pepper. Just add and continue to fry your vegetable. But remember not to overcook the vegetable. And please let me say a very big thank you if today is your first time of seeing my channel or watching my video thank you very much for stopping by and also know it that your subscription will be well appreciated and for you all my old and new subscribers that are so supportive always coming back to support my channel i really appreciate you all 
and if you subscribe don't forget to activate your notification button so you get notification whenever i upload a new video and also don't forget to leave me comment below to share my channel or share my video thank you very much for your support and finally i added my green pea oil leaf and a little bit of kidney beans these are all optional especially the beans and the olive are optional you can choose to remove them in your fried rice but that kidney beans was so delicious and finally i added the spring onion inside and fry those for some minutes just remember not to overcook your vegetable that's just all and also know that this is summer you have to be careful when you're preparing your fried rice because it goes spoiled easily if you are not careful and finally the vegetables are cooked and the next thing is to mix your vegetable fry the vegetable with your already cooked rice and what i did was just to add the rice inside my frying pan i use big frying pan to prepare this i added the rice inside the frying pan and mix fry them To avoid your fried rice being sticky or mushy, you have to parboil the rice not long. Avoid parboiling it, cooking it longer. And also if you're cooking it for the second time, avoid too much water inside your rice because your vegetable will also bring out some water that you will not like to discard the water but mix it with your rice and that will also help to soften the rice so what i did here uh, like if you looked very well you will see there was water still a little water inside the vegetable but as you're frying it the rice will absorb the water and it will still not be sticky or mushy and that is just it just follow the steps and you will prepare a delicious rice recipe that your family are going to like and serve your food with any protein of your choice be it chicken be it turkey and also beef or enjoy your your rice so and thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe share my videos and also activate your notification button and i'll see you in my next video thank you